Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. Let's try to create the trading plan for the beginning of the coming week. As usually we will start from the daily time frame of the euro currency. Well, um, as we have discussed on the previous week and market could say that almost has shown almost the perfect price action uh, that comes from the nature of the behavior of the price during the previous week except maybe this spike that could be treated as the occasion by the European Central Bank Mario Draghi testimony on the Thursday and in general if we will take a look at the overall price action we see that market almost uh, didn't come on didn't take this into consideration and absolutely disrespect this spike and um, price action currently stands is the spike never come. So we said that after the first initial swing that is greater than previous one market should show a deep retracement. That was accomplished by the price action. Market has shown really a 618 retracement from that swing to the upside. Now we said also that if market really has the bullish bias it should show the logical upward breakout of this consolidation that was treated by us as bullish flag pattern and that is also has happened. So uh, trend holds bullish on the daily time frame and this chart tells us that the next destination, the next target that we could reach during the coming week at minimum will be the area around 125, 125, 50 area because that is the next significant resistance. This is confidence resistance 124.77, 16 daily chart. Also, this area includes the weekly pivot resistance one for the coming week. It's right here, 124.82, and that also will be the day level bot. Also, take a look at the harmonic swings. I have drawn this previous retracement, cloned it, and drag and drop to this area. You can see that this market will support this harmony that is very common when it moves in some kind of the parallel channel. You can see that this potential retracement this potential move to the upside also shows at this level so that is our nearest short-term target it's around 125 25 50 areas we said since we do not have any bearish uh, directional patterns our context is bullish and we need to search the possibility to come aboard if of course you haven't entered long at 121 75 as we have discussed during the previous week so for that purpose we will need the hourly chart of the euro currency. Here it is. Our working swing to the upside will be this one. Although we can see that this high is greater, but applying this high will give us the potential areas to watch for, for entering on the long side of the market. So this will be a really solid retracement to the downside. And that's why our working swing uh, for searching the possibility to enter on the long side of the market will be this one. Keep an eye on a couple of levels. First of all is the first is the nearest FIP supports 12326 area. That is stands very close to the weekly pivot point. It's 12308 and previous some kind of the resistance now it will be the support. Next area to watch for is the confidence support 12285 12293. That is also the upward border of the former flag. If you will draw the, ch the line, trend line on the 4 hour time frame, you will see that this line will, be st will stand slightly lower than this area. Since market currently not at overbought on the daily time frame, it's better to enter long at the nearest support in the 12326 uh, and hide the stop somewhere below this level. Also, you could hide the stop order below the 618 support and the weekly pivot support 1. But this will be a very conservative uh, sorry, stop order. This will be a very conservative stop. 
since if market will break this level and returns right back uh, in the border of the flag, this will be not very good from the bullish perspective. Even I could say even more that uh, bullish context doesn't suggest that this will be in fact the erasing of the bullish perspective on the daily time frame. That shouldn't happen if pools are still in charge currently. So initially probably you could place in high stop right here, but when the market will continue move to the upside, it's better to move it below the confluence support or even move it to the break-even area. Well, a uh, potential patron that could trigger the retracement to the downside could be either Jude Napoli patrons, this could be a bread and butter buy, since you can see excellent thrust to the upside, very good separation from the 3x3 moving average, that's green line, okay, or a double repo sale patron. If this will be the double repo sale, in this case, uh, market probably will show some deeper retracement, and if this will be really the double repo, it's better to work for entry area around the confluence support. Well, maybe market will show just some kind of the ABCD page that will point on some support areas. But uh, entry level should be either the first one, 123.26, or confidence support. If market will break this level to the downside, then do not enter long. Wait for more clarification since, as I said, the breakout of the confidence support and returning back in the body of the flag will not be bullish price action. So that is our current view on the market. Keep an eye on these levels. You could even try to drop your time frames lower, maybe to 5 minute chart, 15 minute chart to get the particular patrons. Maybe this could be some kind of the butterflies around these areas, some kind of the can candlestick patrons or something. So just keep an eye on these levels because market hardly will show the deeper retracement if bulls still control the market and market is really intense to continue to the upside.